Alright, so you want to take our job? Huh? Telling you, we're the OG season one characters that everybody fell in love with. You guys are gonna be at discount reporters that no one's gonna like. Honestly, you know what? I'll be, we'll be the nice guys over here, me and Bob Hub, you know? We'll teach you guys how to be at least half decent at field reporting. Alright, now back to us with the story. This is your newscast outline. This is where you write the lead-in, the interviews, and the outro. Each interview should contain at least three questions per person. Recording. What do you think, these videos make themselves? I mean, now you got your script, might as well execute that bad boy. This week, the Winter High School boy... In the intro, you need a lower thirds and upper thirds. The lower thirds should be the name of the person who is being interviewed or whoever is on camera. You can use the push effect to slide the lower third on and off of the screen. The upper third needs to be a basic 3D effect with a drop shadow. Make sure to always send the newscast back to the studio when saying your outro. Cross team won their first NEC title in Winter High School history. We caught up with some students to see how they feel about this victory. But wait, every intro has an outro. <laughs> Yo, check my boy Bob Hub out. He's about to kill this thing. Thank you guys, and congratulations again to the lacrosse team on their NEC title. Back to you guys in the studio. Flawlessly executed, Bob Hub. Thank you, King. Oh, but we're still missing one part of this. Hopefully you guys can figure this out, because this is one of the most important parts of the newscast. So, you know, I coordinated with some people that I wanted to interview. I uh, found out they were in gym class right now. This is the golden way to get interviews. Gym class and lunch period, they're very ideal. People love interviews. They love the clout. Let's go. You know, personally, I think it's a lot better to get less people to interview with more questions and more detailed answers. That's personally how I like it. Flow is more smooth. You're gonna be perfect for this. What am I saying? Uh, boys lacrosse team. They uh, won the NEC. What are you gonna say? What's lacrosse? Perfect, thank you for your time. You know, sometimes you don't always get the response you want or the response you need. So that's why we have scheduled different people with interviews. So now that Chris didn't necessarily work out or find us a good interview, well, I've already coordinated with two other people. So let's go meet up with them. I really enjoyed going to the Make sure every person you interview has their name spelled correctly and why they are important to this story. The boys lacrosse games and I'm really happy that they won the NEC. So that is what you call a good interview and you want to get more people like that to answer more questions. So that's basically everything you need to know to be a field reporter. So as you can see we're wearing different clothes today and when you do your intro and outro you want to make sure you do it in one day so you're wearing the same clothes. And another great thing about field reporting is nothing is live ever. You can take as many takes as you want. If you mess up, you don't like your wording, you can always go back and reshoot and edit. So that's what's great about being a field reporter. Good luck to future field reporters.